welcome children welcome to my english literature class today the lesson for today is the secret workers roald dahl born on 13 september 1916 in landiff cardiff wales was a british novelist short story writer poet screenwriter war time fighter pilot His books have sold more than 250 million copies worldwide. He is also the author of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Matilda, the Big Foot Giant, and a treasury of original evergreen and beloved children's books. He remains for many worlds number one storyteller. Dahl was born in Wales to a fluent Norwegian immigrant parents. and spent most of his lifetime in England. He served in the Royal Air Force during the Second World War at the age of 23. Roald Dahl died in 23rd November 1990 at the age of 74. He was buried in the parish church of St Peter's and St Paul's in the Great Mercedon, the Buckinghamshire village. Today Ronald Dozan's museum and story center continues his extraordinary mission to amaze, thrill and inspire generations of children and their parents. The Secret Workers. Dear children, The Secret Workers is a scene from the very famous movie and book called The Ch- Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. All factories said grandpa joe have workers steaming in and out of the gates except wonkas have you ever seen anyone going into that place or coming out really don't know charlie said whenever i walk past the factory the gate seems to be closed There used to be thousands of people working in Mr. Willy Wonka's factory once, said Grandpa Joe. Then one day, Mr. Willy Wonka had to ask everyone to leave. But why? asked Charlie. Because of spies. All the other chocolate makers started spend- sending spies to steal his secret recipes. The spies took jobs in the Willy Wonka factory, pretending that they were ordinary workers. And why did they go back to their own factories and tell? Asked Charlie. They must have, answered Grandpa Joe, because soon the Flackerbirds factory started making an ice cream that would never melt. The Prudnose factory made a chewing gum. that would never lose its favor however much you chewed it mr wonka shouted this is terrible i shall be ruined there are spies everywhere i shall have to close the factory suddenly wonka's factory became silent months went by grandpa joe went on but the factory remained closed then something astonishing happened one morning thin columns of smoke were seen coming out of the factory chimney people in the town stared mr wonka must be opening up again they cried they ran to the gates expecting to see them open but no the iron gates were locked and mr wonka was no way to be seen grandpa john leaned forward and said but most mysterious of all charlie were the shadows in the windows of the factory the people on the street could see small dark shadows moving about who shadows asked charlie That's exactly what everybody else wanted to know. The factory has been running for these last 10 years, said Grandpa Joe. 
What's more, the chocolate and sweets have become more fantastic and delicious. And now, when Mr. Wonka introduces some wonderful new sweets, no spy can go into the factory to find out how it is made. But Grandpa, asked Charlie, who is doing all the work in the factory? Nobody knows, Charlie. Hasn't someone asked Mr. Wonka? Nobody sees him anymore. Nobody goes in or comes out ever. The only things that come out of the place are the chocolates. They come out through a trap door in the wall and are picked up every day by the post office trucks. But Grandpa, what sort of people work there? That's one great mystery, said Grandpa Joe. We know only one thing about them. They are very small. The faint shadows that appear behind the windows are of tiny people. People no taller than my knee. Just then Mr. Bucket, Charlie's father, came into the room. He was waving an evening newspaper. Have you heard the news? He's, he cried. He held the newspaper so that they could see the headline. Wonka factory to be open to a lucky few. Evening Bulletin Mr. Willy Wonka, the Confederation genius, whom nobody has seen for the last 10 years, sent out the following notice today. I, Willy Wonka, have decided to allow five children to visit my factory this year. These lucky five will be allowed to see all the secrets of my factory. Then, at the end of the tour, as a special present, of all of them will be given chocolates and sweets to last them for the rest of their lives. So, watch out for the golden tickets. Five golden tickets have been printed on gold paper and these golden tickets have been hidden underneath the ordinary bars of chocolate. These chocolate bars may be anywhere. In any shop, in any street, in any town, in any country in the world, upon any counter, where Wonka sweets are sold. And the lucky finders of these golden tickets are the only ones who will be allowed to visit my factory and see everything inside. Good luck to you all. Signed by Mr. Willy Wonka. Dear children, like I said, this is an extract, a scene from the lit famous movie Chocolate Factory, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which was composed, screen written, and written by Ronald Galai. Have you ever seen a single person going into that factory? There must be people working there. The only thing that comes out of that place is the candy. I'd give anything in the world just to go in that amazing factory. Dear people of the world, I, Willy Wonka, have decided to allow five children to visit my factory Five golden tickets have been hidden underneath the wrapping paper of five ordinary Wonka bars. Wouldn't it be something, Charlie, to open a bar of candy and find a golden ticket? But I only get one bar a year. Nothing is impossible. You found Wonka's last golden ticket! From director Tim Burton. Please enter. Who are you? He's Willy Wonka. <gasps> I'm Tyler Beauregard. I don't care. I love the chocolate. I can see that. I agree with the salt. 
Daddy, I want another pony. You're my TV. Die! 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 <laughs> okay. And you. Well, you're just lucky to be here, aren't you? Welcome to the factory. Warner Brothers invites you to... With this children, we come to the end of the lesson.